this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, as well as some googlies, I am going to be joined by Elfily! Good morning, Elfily! I am ready, Lee. Do you know what I'm ready for? You have one guess of what I'm ready for. Okay, guess now. Oh, <laughs> you missed there. Num, 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 num. I am, of course, ready for my cake for breakfast. I'm also ready to play our, our new little mini game. And I really enjoy this, actually. Uh, my new little mini game is you need to fire an arrow into the air so it lands on the top of the zombie's head. And do you want to go first, Lee? So he's got to just fire it up in the air. I think the trick is to not do it too high. And I think that wasn't too high, but it was definitely too far. Don't worry, Lee. It is very difficult. Right, line it up. Definitely at head high and then just hold it back a little bit. Oh, oh, not bad. Not bad. <gasps> How close was that? Let's go over. Let me go and end up over there. How close was that? Where's the arrow? I don't even, I can't even see where it's landed. Or maybe it wasn't close at all then. That looks so close, didn't it? Right, should we have another go, Lee? I enjoyed that. Right, let me just <laughs> waste all my ender pearls going back and forth here. I want us both to have another go, because that was so close. Right, you can go first again then, Lee. And uh, then I'll go and follow up afterwards so we see if we can do it. And what? What was that? <laughs> you did better than the first guy. Right, I, I need to do better now. Line it up. Aim it up a little bit. I'm going to aim a little bit higher and pull a little bit harder. Oh, I think that's too far. Yeah, that one went too far. I, sh I should have only had one go. The, the second go didn't help at all. Uh, anyway, whoa. What's been going on in here? Henry is still on the loose, I guess. <laughs> Let's follow the trail of snow. He's, I think he's been having a, a wander investigating uh, all of the, the different rooms. Has he gone into the, the kitchen? He can't actually open doors because he's uh, actually got uh, no hands. Has he gone upstairs, do you think? Has he gone up to the, the clubhouse? Right, here, here's the challenge. First person to find Henry wins. Uh, let's go, go, go. Ah, I see where he's been. He's been downstairs. He's definitely been down here. And, oh, oh, there's a squid there dancing around under the boat. Where's he gone then? Oh, has he been in here? Oh, God, he hasn't been on the fire, has he? Has he been down this way? Oh, no, he's, he hasn't escaped, has he? Oh, no, okay, the doors are shut to the outside world. Where's he gone to then? Where is Henry? Quest to find Henry. Hmm, maybe he's a uh, plain hide and seek. He normally stays in his room, but he's uh, certainly be getting a, a lot more adventurous. I remember back in the day, he used to wander around without dropping snow all over the place. Those were the good days. Uh, do you reckon he's gone up here somewhere? He likes hanging out up here. He's definitely been around here a lot. Maybe he's gone down into to my storeroom or my love garden. Ah, there's lots of snow around here. Has he gone downstairs here? Lee's jumping up and down. Oh, this way. Oh, he's probably been exploring, hasn't he? He's definitely been... There he is. Henry! We found you. There's no point shutting your eyes and going up against the wall. We know you're there. He's there saying, if they can't see me, I can't see them. Oh, wait, no, the other way around. <laughs> anyway, we found you, Henry. Tell you what. At the beginning of every episode, we can have a, a game of a hide and seek with Henry as well. Anyway, let's not waste any more time because we do have a, a busy video. And so, yeah, today to the Love Garden, uh, I am adding... Uh, Sainted Arua 685 and that's actually because he wrote me a book and uh, he uploaded a, a video to YouTube of him reading through an entire book that he wrote for me and the book was amazing and he read it really well as well and so I'm going to leave uh, as a link in the description uh, a link to the uh, the video if you want to go and listen to Sainted Arura's book and uh, I actually spent loads of time writing books uh, while I was at school as well and that was uh, uh, probably what I spent uh, most time doing before I started making videos so uh, yeah, whenever I see someone doing something like that it always, uh, always has a, a special place in my heart and uh, something else that has a special place in my heart is of course my dogs and why why are my dogs still wandering around I, I reckon they might be sleepwalking maybe, oh god there's one right there maybe they just don't like maybe they don't like being cooped up in here maybe they all want to maybe they all want an outside dog house would you like that do you want an outside dog house <laughs> i don't think benji's really interested anyway who should we take with me let's take let's take sherbet with me today we haven't uh, had sherbet joining us in a while where, where is sherbet where, where, where are they are they all completely outside Maybe maybe it's just been getting a little bit too hot. Have you seen Sherbet Barnaby? No? Has he, has, has he gone out here somewhere? All right, let's go for a hunt for dogs. I've got Henry hiding all over the place, and my dogs are hiding all over the place as well. Uh, there was Flippy back then. No, <laughs> they've got a dog here hiding in the grass. That's Duncan there hiding down inside of the, the leaf blocks. And there's Sherbet. You can see uh, Sherbet's there, coat glistening uh, in the, the sun, Sherbet's fur. Right, You can come and join us, Sherbet. And uh, we're not actually travelling too far. Uh, we're building right over here. Uh, you can actually see we've actually um built up the uh, land a lot. It used to 
just be all water. Actually, I can probably show you. If I come over here and just uh, break a hole, you can see what kind of it looks like underneath. Yeah, this <laughs> this is what the, the land used to be like. Uh, but me and Lee have been... Uh, oh, been very busy uh, building up all of the the land uh, so we can build uh, a whole load of uh, new shops and restaurants and uh, other thing uh, other fun things uh, all the way around here and uh, what we're building today is the Pretty Kitty, uh, which is a new spa I'm going to be building. So it's going to be a big building, which is going to kind of look like a, a glass pyramid. And then it's going to have water trickling all down the top. And uh, you're going to go inside and you're going to get pretty. There's going to be the Pretty Kitty Beautifying Machine or something along those lines. And a jacuzzi and like a, a fish foot bath spa thing. And uh, yeah, it's basically going to be a place where we can go in and uh, make ourselves even more beautiful than we already are. <laughs> anyway, so let's stop talking about it and uh, let's go and start building it. Sure, but if you want to sit down here, it might be a good idea because the first thing me and Lee are going to have to do is uh, dig out the ground all around here. You can see these four torches? Uh, I placed these down just before the video uh, just so I could uh, mark out the area. And uh, what we're going to do is actually have the floor made out of glass. And there goes Lee falling down. <laughs> Make your way to me, Lee. That's like, a, that's like a cartoon where you can just see the dirt coming towards you. I'm going to go stand over uh, here by the post office, Lee. If you just charge straight towards me, breaking a hole in the dirt. It looks like there's Bugs Bunny or someone under the ground coming towards me. Where are you going, Lee? You're going in the wrong direction. No, you've got to stay within the square. You're making a mess. <laughs> Unless that is just a, a wild wabbit there just going around breaking all of the ground. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, what we're going to do is we're going to just destroy all of this ground and then we're going to have a glass floor and then underneath the glass it's all going to be water so as you look down you're just going to see water underneath the glass and then we're going to have a, a whole load of a uh, glowstone all over the uh, the place as well just uh, uh lighting the entire area up and i realize we've done this in a bad way so now there's just a uh, an island in the middle and all oh, be careful lee i can see there's a creeper there's a creeper underneath down there in the little cave maybe there's not enough torches be careful he's right underneath you lee he's right underneath you can you see him he's he's directly underneath you lee um um, I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with this. Oh, uh, he's coming up! He's coming up! He's coming up! No! No! Oh, there's a skeleton as well! Where's the skeleton? I just got shot by one! Where is he? Did he get blown up in the blast as well? Um, I suppose we could use the creepers to help us build. Seeing as we're just destroying all the dirt, if we just lure creepers underneath it and let them blow up, then they can do all the, the hard work for us. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, climb up to, to the top up here, and let's go and uh, uh, continue destroying all of this dirt. And then we're gonna place down a uh, light blue wall uh, under underneath and then put the the water on top of that so that's why i've got the uh, uh the sheep over there which uh, i've dyed blue and uh yeah so once we've gone and uh, destroyed all of this we can go and start building the uh the spa proper and <laughs> was that really necessary using an ender pearl to get about five blocks ahead of you i suppose you managed to to do it easier and so yeah while you're doing those last few blocks down there lee uh, i'm going to start getting rid of the the second layer and it's actually kind of lucky the fact that we have this kind of this cave underneath us because a lot of the shops and things have basements or just like a second floor under the ground and uh, yeah because there's all of these basements I'm not gonna have to bother digging it all out like kind of we've got like half the work done already for us so if I just keep destroying all of this down here and then we need to to place the the blue wall down on this level and then we're gonna place the the water above it that way uh, having blue wall underneath will just make it kind of look like endless water sort of as, as deep down as uh, as it's gonna go and then we're gonna pour water over the entire spa so it's all just sort of trickling down the sides and like all over the the walls and stuff and so it's just going to look like a, a big bulge of water basically and because uh, it's going to have all the glowstone as well it's all going to be glowing as well and hopefully uh, just look really cool so let's go and um start putting down some of the the blue wall then if we just go around here and then uh, above this we're gonna have to do uh, a ring of a uh, glowstone all around the top so this is going to basically be the the wall so this should actually be uh too high really so if i go and start uh, building up this way as well and then yeah just uh, the floor down there that's where all of the the other blue wall is going to be and uh, so while lee's doing that i might start going around doing some some glowstone and wait lee 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 get down stay down stay down there's someone over there. I think it might be. Let me have a closer look. Is it? It's hit the target. It's hit the target with one of my dogs. That's why the dogs are all over the place. It's hit the target coming to try and steal them again. No, don't. Don't shoot, Lee. Don't shoot. This is our chance to get him once and for all. For once, we got the upper hand. We're surprising him rather than him surprising us. Right, get ready. I've got my sword ready. We need to ambush him. Oh, he's coming right towards us. Get down, Lee. Get down, right. I'm going to use my ender pole and try and ender pole on top of the post office. You stay down here. I'm going to say three, two, one, go. And then we ambush him and just make sure there's no chance of him exploding 
escaping, right? Hopefully all my practice ender pearling to the F1 car is going to pay off. And there we go. I landed right on the roof. Right, where is he? Where is he? He's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, he's going right past you, Lee. Okay, on the count of three, okay? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, I missed my first shot. Get him, Lee. Run in, get him, get him, get him. I'm going to jump down. I'm going to jump down and go after him. I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch him. No, I fell into the squid tank. I'm stuck in the squid tank, Lee. I can't get out. Quick, chase him down. Chase him down. Don't let him escape. Oh, I need to end a pole out of here if I can. Oh, no, I can't end a pole out. I'm stuck. Right, if I end a pole just up. No, I'm just getting hurt. I'm stuck in the tank. Right, I'm just going to break my way out the tank. Don't let him escape, Lee. We're not letting him escape this time. He escapes every time. This time, we're going to get him once and for all. He stole my dogs too many times. Right, here we go. You go around one way, Lee. I'm going to go around the other way. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Oh, no, he's running away. There we go. I managed to hit him. Hopefully, that's going to send my dogs after him. Here we go. We've got him trapped. He's there running away. There's two of us and only one of him. He's got no way of escaping. Oh, look how quick he is, though. Look how speedy he is. Right, you go around that way, Lee. I'm going to go around this way. And let's just make sure we're able to get him once and for all. Right, where's he going to run to? He's always able to slip out our grass. He's right here. I managed to get right in front of him. I'm the worst shot with the bows and arrows, though. I am so bad at this. <laughs> just don't let him escape Lee just do not let him escape oh no, he's gonna run over the bridge oh where's he gonna run to actually I think we're okay Lee I think he's gonna run to a dead end he's just gonna keep going down this way and he's just gonna end up getting to the uh, the emergency igloo and there's gonna be nowhere else for him to go and what's going on there's just a there's just a boat sailing around by itself why how's there just a boat sailing around <gasps> who's that who came out the boat? It's Stampy Cat Clone. Do you remember Stampy Cat Clone? Do you remember I cloned myself ages ago? He's come back to save us. Right, get him, Stampy Cat Clone. Come on, all three of us. Oh no, sorry. Oh no, Stampy Cat Clone got taken out. Lee accidentally shot Stampy Cat Clone. Oh no, it's still just both of us again to hit the target. He's got nowhere else to run though. Come on, keep chasing him down. I'm gonna hit him with my arrows. Come on, I think I hit him. He's gotta be so weak right now. We are finally gonna be able to take him out. Did we get him? We got him! You managed to take him out, Lee! We took out, hit the target once and for all! We were finally able to take him out! <gasps> we did it! Hit the target's gone! It's all over! How many, how many times has he tried to attack us and steal our dogs? For over a year, hit the target's trying to be stealing my dogs and trying to make a, a dog army and we finally managed to get him with the help of Stampy Cat Clone but Stampy Cat Clone got taken out I mean I can always make a, another Stampy Cat Clone but I got quite attached to that Stampy Cat Clone right you know what forget this bar forget working forget building and all of that rubbish let's just go and let's just go and celebrate shall we should we just go up to Stampy's clubhouse we can get Henry and Hilda up there as well and all of my dogs and we can just go and have a big party up inside of the clubhouse and just celebrate finally managing to take out hit the target I still kind of can't believe it I still can't believe he managed to take him out he just came out of nowhere we were there just happily building away and he just wandered past he didn't even bother checking to look around to see where we were that that is how much of a stupid person hit the target is and we were able to to take him out because of it <laughs> that is amazing right let's be careful though no no it uh, looks like uh, Lee's uh, lagged out of the game let me just go and uh, quickly uh, try and invite Lee back in there we go, Lee's joined back in, so we can go now and uh, head up to the uh, the clubhouse and uh, we can put some music on and we can just have a, a great big massive celebration. Actually, something we should do is- Wait a minute! There's another one! There's another one, Lee! There's another hit the target! What? How is there a- We just took out hit the target! How is he back here already? What? I don't understand it. <gasps> the cloning machine! That wasn't hit the target we killed, that was a hit the target clone. Hit the target isn't trying to get a dog army anymore, he's trying to get a hit the target army. He's over at the, he's over at Melon Moments. Right, we've got to take him out, Lee. We've got to take him out. Oh, don't run away. Don't be a coward, Lee. Where, where's Lee gone? Is, is Lee gone in here? Has he gone inside the, the clove shop? I know, I'm all by myself just fighting a hit the target clone. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, I could run. No, I'm not going to run. I am going to be brave. I don't know where he's gone, though. He could be anywhere around here. Right, keep your eyes out. Where is hit the target? Oh, he's shooting at me. Oh, he's over there behind Stumpy Sock Buns. Right, he's not going to get me. He's not going to get me. Right, what we need to do then is try and take out all of the hit the targets. Here we go. I managed to surprise him. I managed to go up right next to him. Oh, he's got just about as bad aim as I do. <laughs> right, if I just keep chasing him down, I'm going to take him out. I don't think he knows what to do. There's another one. There's another hit the target. This clone's just constantly coming. There's so many hit the target clones. It's turned into clone wars. Come on, I've got to be able to take them out. There's two of them. I'm outnumbered. And here we go. Alpha Lee's come back. And there's another Alpha Lee. Alpha Lee's just got and cloned himself. Right, 2v2. We're going to be able to take them out. It's just turned into a massive bow battle. Right, I'm going to go up to the, the top up here. I'm going to go into the top of Stampy's Hot Buns and shoot arrows down. And oh, there's Googlies as well. There's Googlies joined into the fight. Hopefully, no creepers are going to end up cloning themselves. Right, I think we've managed to take most of them out. We've still got two Alpha Lee's and they hit the target. There we go. I managed to take him out. I managed to hit him with my sword. Hello, Lee. And hello, Lee. Which one's the... 
Which one's the real Lee? I don't even know. <laughs> they just look the same. Right, there's going to be more hit the targets coming. There's got to be more. Right, we need to prepare. Let's go inside, inside here. Let's go inside my clothes shop. And let's go and uh, dress up, shall we? Let's go put some armor on. I'm going to go in rainbow robes, I think. Uh, which one's rainbow robes? I think that one's the one here. So uh, I've got all of these clothes. And let's actually put some, some armor on for once. I'm taking off my iron boots. And I'm going to be dressed in uh, in my rainbow robes. There we go. That should protect me. I probably should have gone uh, inside of the uh, the changing room. Uh, to, to get changed. Hopefully none of you were looking. And there we go. We got a uh, Lee clone there dressed up as the um as uh, in the king's costume and uh, the other elf Lee there as a, uh, um, a pumpkin munchkin. Right. Okay, everybody be ready. Everybody be ready for the for the next hit the targets. They could come at us from absolutely anywhere. Right. If we just stay here and we get a good defense, then when they attack us, we can go and take them out. And as soon as as we uh, we've been able to take out the next two hit the targets, we can go down and try and get the real hit the target who's got to be down in my secret base. And here we go. Here they're coming. Here's the big battle. Here's the big showdown. Oh, I don't like this. I think I'm going to stay back. And oh no, hit the targets going after Lee Bear clone. Oh no, no, don't take him out. We need to help him. No, he made to take on Lee Beckler. Oh no, we didn't. No, he's still okay. He's still okay. Oh no, there's 2v1 though. There's two of them ganging up on him. That's not fair. That's bad tactic. I was able to take one of them out. There's a spider as well. There's googlies on our side still there trying to take him out. This isn't good. Oh, where have all my dogs gone as well? I need my dogs to help me out. This isn't going well. Right, come on. We, there's all there's all three of us. We've got to be able to take him out. We've got to be able to take him out. And oh no. He took out Lee Bear Clone. Right, this is for Lee Bear Clone. I'm going after him. Oh no, he's running away. <laughs> he's a slippery one. There we go. Oh no, I accidentally hit Lee. Lee, run into the water. Run into the water, quick. <gasps> that was a close one. That was a close one. Right, let's just go. Let's go and charge down into my secret base. And let's go and try and take out the real hit the target. He's got to be down there using the cloning contraption. We might have thought we've killed him already, but we can still get him now. There's got to be no chance he's able to escape. There's nowhere to run. There's only one other way out of here. And there's no way he's going to be that quick. Where is he? Excuse me, Squid. Excuse me, Frank. I need to get past. Where is he? Can you see him? Where? Where is he? He's got to be around here somewhere. He's not out this way, is he? Hit the target. Hit the target. Oh, he hasn't escaped again, has he? There's nowhere else for him to run in here. Oh, look, there's, there's some signs down here. Your dogs will be one day mine. Hit the target. P.S. Your spa looks rubbish. Oh, thanks a lot, hit the target. And there's his cooling sign. There's the arrow. Well, let's get rid of that straight away. And you know what, Lee? I've got another idea for something else that we could get rid of. Let's get rid of the cloning contraption. No good has come of it. Well, let's just take the button away. And then that way, no one's going to be able to use it for good or for evil. And then hopefully that way we're going to be safer. Whew, well, I guess we're, I guess we're back to where we started. No more clones, Lee. No more clones. It's just you and me from now on. It's just you and me. Whew. Next time, though. Next time, we're going to be able to take out Hit the Target. Right. I don't know about you, Lee, but I am tired after that. There is no way I can carry on building a spa. Maybe visiting a spa I could do, but I couldn't carry on building one. So sadly, we are going to end this episode here. In the next video, I am going to carry on building the spa as well as uh, keeping an eagle eye lookout for any future hit the targets or hit the target clones. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!